guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are enjoying your day as always so today i'm going to be trying out some more stuff from beetles they sent over a little gel polish set so yeah this one is a six piece gel polish set with like summary colors it comes with a little instruction manual and even some little like um stickers that you can do your swatches on which i think is really cool you can place them on the top of the bottle when you're done swatching and this is what the bottles look like they're pretty big for an affordable gel polish set they're 7.5 milliliters each and they also did send over their poly gel kit this is like a basic poly gel kit it comes with a little application guide of course as always they include that with their kits um, some dual forms and you also do get a 100 180 grit nail file a little gel brush as always um, with your gel brush on one side and then the scraper tool on the other side to place the poly gel on your nails you get a 15 milliliter slip solution i really love the slip solution from beetles it works really really good and you also get a 7.5 milliliter base gel and a top gel and three 15 milliliter poly gels you get two nude shades and one clear so i'm gonna quickly swatch all the colors for you guys i'm gonna start with the poly gels and i'm still going to swatch the gel polishes even though the set comes with like those little stickers i figured you would see better if i painted like like on the swatch sticks you can actually see how they perform you can't really see that if i'm applying gel polish onto a sticker that's why i'm still going to swatch them for you guys but yeah it's cool that they include that anyway so that you can like you know just place the color on the top of the bottle and identify it that way but yeah anyways the first color that i'm swatching for the poly gels is called bean red and then i'm swatching skin tone and then the clear i'm using the slip that came with the kit these poly gels one thing i notice about them is that this is definitely an improvement from their formula that i'm used to I've tried um, their other clear poly gel, which was a lot more runny. Um, I've talked about that one in some of my previous videos. And um, I've tried their jelly gel um, poly gels, and they were runny as well. But these seem a lot more firm. So I don't know, maybe they heard like the feedback from a lot of us reviewers or whatever and they changed up the formula but i'm here for it i really love like the new formula and how the poly gels are a lot more firm there's no bubbles or anything it's definitely really nice so yeah um for these i'm swatching in this order 722 724 721 720 723 and 719 for the gel polishes and this is what they all look like after they're cured i really love all the colors they're definitely really summery and like vibrant and as you can see with one coat they're super pigmented so yeah check out the description box if you guys are interested in any of these so i'm just gonna go ahead and start the tutorial i'm doing this design on my practice hand so as you can see i did prep the nails off camera as always and I'm applying a base gel to the nails and curing that for 60 seconds. Um, and this will like give that poly gel something to grip onto as well as protect your natural nails. Of course, before even doing that, you do want to go in with a dehydrator and primer, but I did do all that off camera. So yeah, I'm going to be doing like a French nail design. So I'm using um, one of the nude shades from the poly gel kit to create some nail beds. So I'm using the lighter shade, which is the bean red color. And I'm just like placing a little bead of it onto the nails. You really don't need like a lot. Um, a little does go a long way. Um, and basically I just apply the slip solution onto the poly gel and I use my brush to kind of like pat the poly gel around the cuticle and then I um, use the brush to kind of like take in the sides and like shape the poly gel into a nail bed. It's really really easy. I don't even like go in with a hand file anymore like to you know tighten up the shape or anything. I'm pretty happy with the way my nail beds come out but you can always do that like if you feel like you have to like 
tighten up your lines or anything but it's so easy to do with poly gel because you have that time to like work with it before you like cure it and like set everything in place so yeah um that's why i prefer to do like french nails with poly gel because it's like so much easier when i do it with acrylic i get like anxiety for some reason because like just the thought of the acrylic drying too fast before i get it in shape i mean i could still do it but I just like how with poly gel you have that time to work with it of course it's really easy to get like obsessive over how the nail beds look and like try to get them all perfect they don't have to be perfect but you know just make them look like they are all match pretty much they don't have to be like so freaking perfect you know but yeah as long as you do that you should be fine so i'm going to be doing this on all the nails and as you can see i'm like flash curing as i go along so that you know the gel doesn't move around i have a tendency to like bump into things and like you know kind of mess them up so i just do like a little flash cure so that you know i don't end up messing up the nail beds or anything but before i move on to the next step I will be um, curing the nails for 60 seconds to make sure that they're fully cured. Okay, so now that the nails are cured, as you can see, I placed all the colors that I'll be using on my palette. I'm pretty much using every color from the set except for the darker blue shade. And I'm going to be doing another design with some blooming gel. This one is going to kind of be like the one that I'm wearing in the video that I did for McCart. Um, where I did like the blooming dots. But with this set, I wanted to try something a little bit different and kind of do like wavier lines with a bunch of different colors going across the nails and have the colors like bloom into each other which i thought would be really really cool um yeah and do like the french design instead of like an ombre so yeah um so basically you want to place a layer of blooming gel onto the nail first without curing it because the purpose of the blooming gel is to kind of like um, have the polishes bloom but I did notice after doing this nail that um, the polishes weren't blooming super fast so I decided to just speed up the process and place the blooming gel on the remainder of the nails um, and kind of like place the colors um, into the gel like that but I was working pretty fast um, so basically I'm going into each color and kind of like cleaning off my brush really quick and moving on to the next one so that you know all the nails kind of like bloom evenly if that makes any sense so yeah what you're going to want to do is take like a long striper brush this one is from beetles nail art set i really like this brush and i really do love that nail art set because like it comes with like a bunch of brushes and everything it's just it's really really good so yeah, I'm just going across the nail and I'm kind of wiggling my brush as I go across the nail, um, making wavy lines. And then when you're placing them in the blooming gel, they kind of bloom and like go into each other. And it kind of looks cool, like a bunch of wavy colors, you know. Um, and you might have to go in and like re-intensify some of the colors um, just because, um, you know, you might lose the intensity because 
when it goes into the blooming gel it might bloom a little bit so you might just have to go over it really quick but yeah it's super easy as you could see um it requires like little to no effort but it looks like you actually tried um i did have to go ahead and cure these nails really quick to make sure that you know they weren't blooming too much but as you can see i'm adding more of the colors to my palette and i'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the pinky And the last step is just to encapsulate all of the nails and I am using the clear to do that with some of the slip solution. I really love this clear way better than their other clear that I tried. It's way more firm and like so much easier to work with like it's a breeze. The last one was so hard to work with like you had to place it on your nails and it would like stick to your brush and it would be like really runny and stuff. This one is like way more firm and it's just like way easier to work with. I definitely, definitely recommend this poly gel kit. It's really, really good. So yeah, for the encapsulation part, basically all I'm doing is just squeezing the poly gel onto the nail. I always eyeball it. I'm pretty good at, you know, knowing how much I need. Um, of course, depending on the length of your nails, you would just be the judge of that. Um, and I always start by the cuticle with poly gel. I find that that's the best way um, to do it because then you could kind of just get the rest of the nail like really easily by working side to side all the way down the nail. Of course, if you have extra poly gel, you can remove it with like the spatula or whatever. Just make sure when you're going side to side and patting the poly gel that you're like um, making sure the side walls are completely covered and use your brush to like smooth the nail out before you cure it in your lamp. Make sure it's as smooth as possible before you cure it. This will ensure that you don't have like a lot of lumps in your nails and it's just better like when you go to file so you're not filing through all these like lumps and bumps. And that's the good thing about poly gel. Like I said, you have that time to work with it.
so now I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping up the nails. I'm using my McCart Jean Vier nail drill and a 180 sanding band. Um, these nails aren't super thick and I didn't really want to like use anything strong and like take off too much product. So I'm just using a 180 sanding band and it works just fine. Poly gel falls down a lot faster than acrylic. So you don't need to use like anything too strong. Um, so yeah, I'm just smoothing out the nail, going around the cuticle, um, along the side walls, um, over the surface of the entire nail. And I'm also like tapering in the sides to like, you know, redefine the shape a little bit before I go in with my hand file. I also make sure I file underneath the nail. Now I'm going to take my hand file and shape the nails up really quick. I'm doing a long coffin shape for this set. So for this one, you're going to want to file straight with your hand file on each side like a few times to debulk the middle of the nail. And then to get that coffin shape, you want to angle your file in and file in the tip quite a bit um, to get that like coffin shape look. Of course, if you were doing a square, you wouldn't file the tip in as much, but since we're doing like a coffin shape, you definitely want to file your tip in. So you want to do that a few times on each side, um, to make sure that you get that desired shape and then file the free edge at an angle as well. After that, I do buff over the nails to buff out any scratches. And now I'm going in with the top gel from the kit. And then I'm gonna be placing some stones into the gel really quick. I'm also top coating underneath the nails because they're like a little bit glassy and you could see through them. So you want to make sure that it's really clear underneath the nail and top coating under there really helps with that. Um, the stones I'm using are from the Beatles nail art set. I'm just gonna be placing them like kind of around the nail bed area and randomly on the nails just to give the nails like a little something something you know but yeah after that i just cure for 60 seconds and i'm pretty much done of course if you want your nails 
to last like a little longer like the bling you can use like a bling gel or like some nail glue for stones or something but yeah this is a fake hand so we're not gonna do all that but yeah that is pretty much all for this set i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe because i post nail tutorials and reviews every week you definitely don't want to miss out and make sure you hit the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload a video because people are having issues like with that sometimes they don't get notified or whatever. So yeah, make sure you do that and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.